Hello! Welcome to day 12. I've said this at work uh, a number of times when I've been building teams and I sound a little bit like a broken record so fortunately uh, I was going to say bear with me but you're listening so either turn me off or continue listening, it's entirely up to you. But I want to try and dispel the uh, I can't scenario. You know, that to me uh, makes no sense because it's a limiting belief. A limiting belief is a belief that's been um, manifested or grown over time or something that's been passed down to you from parents or generations where you don't think you can. Who, Whose right is it to tell you that you can't? You are the expert of you and if you want something you should go out and get it. But we need this positive reinforcement to help break these limiting beliefs but also to give us confidence and motivation and sometimes some inspiration too to keep going. So to bring it back to the what I say to my teams that I built at work is tell me what you can do, not what you can't. Sounds simple, but it's really powerful. How many times have you asked somebody and said, uh, oh, can I just do this, this, and this? Like, you know what, actually, you know what? A business idea, a venture, um, a crazy idea that you want to do or something that, that you want to take off and you, you, you turn to a friend of yours and you say, mate, I've had this great idea. I'm going to uh, create the next uh, Netflix but for men's shoes. Crazy idea, right? And somebody's gone, yeah, it's not going to work, is it? Why? Why are they telling you it's not going to work? There's a difference between saying it won't work and having constructive criticism. Telling me it won't work just because it seems like a harebrained idea is not good enough. You know what, how do they know that it won't work? Unless they're a, a, an, an expert in uh, computer science or coding or platform development or something like that. Wouldn't it make better sense and be more valuable if somebody said, okay, I, I can't do that, but I could do this, this and this, and that will help cover off this element of it? So whether it be an idea or a project at work, why not start looking at what you can do, not what you can't? So take ourselves back to the, the lessons in previous days where we've had to break down a chunk into bite size and then start tackling those. Well, that's the whole point. That's what you were doing then, you just didn't know about it. Because writing one to five meant that you could tell me what you can do and what, not what you can't. Because you don't feel like you can do the whole thing at once. But if you break them into bite-sized chunks, then you can. So that's what I want you to take away today is I want you to think about what you can do and not what you can't. And while the car starts, I'm going to say bye-bye and see you tomorrow.